Hey guys, how's it going? So let's just see. Let me turn off this. Okay, let's just see how we can make a simple Flask application which captures the image or you know, frames or video from uh, your camera or something, um, and then output in it in a gray style format in a Flask application or in a yeah in a web browser. That's it. Um, so simple. Uh, we are using CV2, of course. Um, so the I will, uh, first of all, I will, I will go through the application. So this is the Flask app, and then we are importing all the necessary response and URL for render template. And then, of course, we are importing. Okay. Uh, from here, we can go through the main app. So from here, if you can see, uh, we are importing the main app. I mean, capture from the main app. So let's go through the main app. Uh, so main app just imports uh, the CV2 and then it defines this one function to do everything. So basically we are uh, cap, this is the, you have to go through the open CV documentation. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not going to explain everything, but just see this uh, video capture method is going to capture uh, from whatever source we have, uh, give it to. So from here, I'm going to capture it from my laptop in build camera but it can be any rtsp stream camera or whatever right so once we uh, capture the image and save it to this vid um, variable and then we are entering in a while loop i will show you what is going to be important but yeah we are entering in a while loop don't don't care about this this is my jd uh, throwing some mm, it, it thinks uh, it has uh, some import errors just just ignore this red, red uh, warning from here anyways moving on we have uh, this dot red so basically uh, the red is the method which can be used to read whatever uh, the frames from this video capture and then uh, it returns two things uh, the whether it is a success that's the red it can be true or false and then the frames as well frames from the video capture so again frames in the sense a video is just a bunch of frames that's it so we are capturing one single frame at a time so this is the frame and this frame is going to be a numpy array so it's uh, it's so useful that once we have the numpy array we can make modifications in the uh, array to make in it in different forms um, so that's it that's the high level overview of it and so uh, we are taking the numpy array and we are doing multiple operations so in this case i'm go going to convert it to gray so once we convert it to gray i'm not going to again i'm not going through each and every methods uh, here but you can just read the documentation i know it's a i know it's a lot but uh, that's it mm, okay so we are uh, converting it to gray by using the color bgr to gray method and then so storing it in a gray variable so this is just a throwaway variable or something uh, you can call it whatever you need but garbage variable yeah so it encodes the uh, gray image okay you see v2 has this method im encode uh, it's in a jpeg format okay and then we are converting this to bytes and then bytes to the image uh, by giving it the binary data, for, I mean that's the bytes. So it's self, yeah, self-explanatory. And then of course we are yielding it uh, because we don't want to end the loop. We just have to continuously yield. Okay, so we are going to the app. We are continuing from where from where we left off. So we are calling this uh, root, which will render the index HTML file. And then the index is just simple as this. Um, let me, why don't, why don't we view the source? Okay, just ignore this. The main part comes here. IMG source, uh, probably go through this. Anyways, uh, the index file has this URL for, I hope you might be aware of this URL for, it's just saying once we, you, once you are, start loading the image uh, take this source so 
the url the url for the source is the live endpoint so what is this live endpoint so live endpoint uh, responses with and it uh, goes through the capture function so we have imported the capture function from the main app so f f once it hits the main app and the capture function will enter into a loop and this loop will return the data frame and uh, you don't you don't need this uh, destroy all windows because we are not showing the cv2 has a property that shows the image uh, so in this case since we are not using it you don't need this destroy your windows we don't need it uh, but yeah we can release the resources uh, with, with released but this is not needed anyways so that's it uh, this is the main part so we are entering into the while loop and then continuously yielding the frame uh, as a result of this um, function which produces the gray image frame again this is a bunch of frames shown as uh, a video so that that's the main part and then once it comes to the image source again we are providing the url for the live so if you want to look at the page source then you can see that img source is live um okay so why don't we just run it so flask run and then let me refresh this so this is going to be my portal okay um so again if you go through the response uh you can see the response is the live streaming because we set it to look for the i mean to throw the response from the capture so that's why we have the response in this form okay as a, as a as a bunch of frames so that's it i just wanted to quickly show this i show this video for i thought this would be interesting uh can we can scale this be if you need in different applications for different purpose yeah that's it uh thank you all for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video